good potato. The turnips, the lettuce, and of course the chicken. Hey MTL Blog, Mike Shar coming at you with another foodie vid, but not just any foodie vid, a Lebanese foodie video. And with most Montrealers getting their quick Lebanese fast food fix at either Amir or Bustan, it's often debated which of the two is better. And I'll be settling that one today. So we pulled MTL bloggers to ask them which of the two restaurants is their favorite. And after receiving hundreds and hundreds of responses, it turns out it's a close call between Amir and Bustan, but I'll be settling that one. But wait, what makes me qualified enough to be the judge of that? Not only does my family originate from the southwest of Lebanon, but I spent every single Saturday at my Tata's house eating her delicious Lebanese food, so I think my palate is qualified enough to see which one of these two restaurants does it better. Let's find out. Can I get a uh, shawarma plate and a shish dog sandwich, please? All right. Yes, please. Rice and potato? Yes, please. All right, so how this is gonna work is I'm basically going to be testing each of the restaurants on their presentation, cost, and of course, taste. And we're starting with Amir. So we got our chicken platter, we have our shish dog sandwich, and of course they bring you some bread, and this is what it looks like basically overall. This was $14.99 and the sandwich came up to $6.99. So the presentation is pretty standard for Amir. You've got the hummus, you've got the garlic sauce, you've got their house salad, chicken, potatoes, and of course rice. Now let's dig in. Chicken is exactly how you would imagine it to be. Crispy on the outside, it's juicy and supplement on the inside. Can't really go wrong with this one. So, how do the potatoes measure up? Let's find out. Nothing beats these garlic potatoes with the garlic sauce. If you know, you just know. And let's give it a try. Good potato. It's a good potato. Sandwich, flavors, everything. Can't go wrong. So Amir definitely hit every spot that I wanted it to. When it came to the presentation, I would have to give the chicken shawarma plate a seven on 10. I didn't expect anything less and I didn't really expect anything more. It's sort of the classic chicken shawarma plate that you'd get, but when it came to taste, I'd bump that up to at least an eight and a half on 10. I didn't love the salad. I thought it was a little plain, but everything else hit everything it wanted to. The potatoes were crispy and crunchy. The chicken was juicy and succulent. The rice was perfectly cooked. And of course, for the sandwich, a clear 10 on 10. Amir's sandwich, the sauce to ingredient ratio, the turnips, the lettuce, and of course the chicken mixed with the garlic sauce, everything was just so good. So Amir, very, very, very clear contender, but we've still got Bustans to try. So let's head on over there and give the exact same dishes a try to see how they measure up to Amir's. <music> So we're at the stands right now actually, and I got the exact same plate, the chicken shawarma sandwich and the chicken plate. It's a little bit different here, but I'm excited to give it a taste. So I got the chicken plate with rice and of course potatoes. I got hummus and garlic, and the salad here is a little bit different than it is at here, so I'm excited to try that. But let's dive in. Chicken is very juicy, crispy on the outside. A little bit better than Amir's. I'm a little bit stunned because I wasn't expecting it to be that good, but it is. We're gonna move on to the potatoes now. Oh. 
hot. I much prefer the one at Amir's. They were much crispier, a lot more cooked, but these were pretty good too. And I want to try the salad now, so let's move on to that one. This salad is a definite winner for me. I don't know where it's gonna fall in comparison to Amir's plate, but pros and cons, so. All right, next up, sandwich. Same as last time, shish dough sandwich, chicken, turnips, lettuce, tomatoes, and of course, garlic sauce. The sandwich was decent, but I don't think it was as good as Amir's. The flavors didn't mix as well. I think there's a different spice used here from Stan, but let's give the final tally score. I'm not here. Let's get back to the car. So I just got finished with Bustan and it was really good. I really enjoyed the plate. In terms of presentation, I'd probably give it somewhere closer to an eight on 10. It was a little bit more elevated than Amir's, but when it came to the taste, I'd give it a seven on 10, mainly because of the added spice. The salad and the chicken were definitely the standouts, but everything else was just sort of all right. As for the sandwich, I'd probably give that an 8 on 10 in regards to both taste and presentation, making our clear winner today Amir. I definitely enjoyed it. It seemed a lot more simple, more authentic, definitely hits home when I was eating the Amir versus Bustan, but don't let my opinion hinder you from going to either follow your taste buds, follow your heart. And just eat where you want but if you want some good lebanese fast food maybe try amir all right this has been mike from mtl blog signing off with a belly full of delicious lebanese food and i'll catch y'all on the next one bye thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe to see more content just like this